Greetings and salutations, this is Jason Silverain and today I'll be taking a look at Fallen London, a free browser based choose your own adventure by Fail Better Games. You may have heard of them, they worked on Sunless Sea which was released in February 2015, uh, excellent little roguelike, I'll cover a bit more of that in a moment, for, but for those of you who aren't familiar with Fail Better Games, they're a small British uh, video games company based in London, they've only got about 14 members or so, and they were founded late 2009, early 2010. They're known for their uh, Fallen London uh, series, which is a Victorian Gothic world setting, and uh, it's rather interesting, it's very Call of Cthulhu-esque. And uh, they've actually got a friendly rivalry with the chaps who made um, Darkest Dungeons as well, because they sort of both developed around the same time, and it's quite interesting uh, when you put the two companies side by side, um, how things have, ha have gone between them. But they've had a handful of games so far. They've had uh, Fallen London, which actually was released in 2009. And you may be wondering, yeah, Jason, we know you do... Um, you know, reviews on old games, but isn't this getting a bit old for you? It's like, no, uh, this is relevant because they're now making it a uh, smartphone app, so it's now downloadable um, this year, so that's excellent. And even some of you may be going, oh, it's a choose your own adventure, those are all over the place. No, this one is pr apparently pretty damn good. It was, uh, it, well, it won the Escapist Best Browser based game award in 2009, so I'm certainly willing to take a look at it. Uh, it has sort of a sequel which is in fact a prequel <laughs> called uh, Tales of Fallen London The Silver Tree which was uh, released in October 2012 and occurs 500 years before the first game in the capital of um, the Mongol Empire. And they've had a handful of other games here and there, actually did some work for Bioware which uh, We'll have a look into later, but Sunless Sea is the big game that brought them into sort of the uh, spotlight with, with its release on Steam and the successful Kickstarter. Now, these guys do actually have quite a bit of other work. Now, if you can see, you've got Dragon Age The Last Court. I really need to have a go at that. I, I've not actually finished... Um, what they call, I've only finished the very first Dragon Age. I've not finished any of the others so far. I don't even have the second one. I really need to get my hands on that. <laughs> uh, they've got the Black Crown. I mean, I've got to go through these at some point. Silver Tree is available for free here. And these are just little small games we've all had a hand in. Which is uh, something I may come around and uh, take a view at another time. I recommend checking out the website as well. As things go, it's a pretty nice website. Uh, Things that he's pretty easy to find. Oh yes, if Knife and Candle, that was a project they were doing which was initially going to be a tabletop game. So unfortunately that's not come together so well and it's sort of in development hell right now. It's kind of on hold. But I'd love to see uh, some of this uh, actually fulfilled and finished in the future when they've got a better, a better grip on it. Now... Just to go back to Fallen London, uh, there's, a good, there's got a nice little video that sort of sums it up. So there we go, that is just the uh, video for Fallen London. And I want to take my hand at it. Though, if any of you are interested in getting into the video games industry, uh, Fail Better Games actually has a really solid uh, description of, uh, you know, what it's like to work for them, application process, and it's pretty approachable. I just wish I had the writing skills. I've been actually, I was actually taking a look at the, um, 
you know, the writer's, uh, re you know, requirements. And, you know, I, I, I must admit, this kind of setting isn't really my niche. I'm more of a fantasy writer myself. So, you know, it's just... Hmm. If only, uh, you know, known about ten years ago. I, uh, but for any of you with an A in English and not sure what to do with it, I recommend just having a look. But yeah, I'm getting sidetracked as I usually do. So let's take a look at Fallen London. I've just re I've just made a free account and just started. Now this is the first thing I get a look at. After this, the account settings are pretty easy. You've got email notifications. You can deactivate your account whenever you want. You can link it to things. But there we go. That's easy enough. So I start off in prison, apparently. And to find out who you are and escape from prison, record this in the journal. Don't worry about getting out. There's also messages because you can interact with other players and duel them and fight them. To find out about myself. So I can actually see what I've got. <laughs> I, oh wow, you've got different types of uh, equipment you can uh, wear as well. That's quite interesting. Again, this is all new to me as well. I have not done any pre-gaming. I have simply just made a account and started now. Now, you may be wondering, free browser game, where's the obvious money? Is it going to be like Facebook games where I have to call in friends? No, they do have uh, fate. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I don't really understand what fate's about. You seem to get fate for premium content, extra storylines, or faster progression. I don't really know how you progress yet. It's kind of interesting um, that you can get different storylines through that. I hope this isn't um, going to cut me off from a lot of the stuff in the world that if I don't purchase anything. But I understand, you know, you do need to make um, money some way or another. And it's not like there's any adverts across the site. Huh. Where, do I, where do I click? There is like a subtle humour in all most of the writing. Uh, just for example, when it asked me what my gender was, it's like, it's like, sir, there are squid beasts walking the streets. How dare you stop them and ask them for a gender? Stop wasting my time with this dilly dally. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Get more. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, a certain amount of actions, and it refreshes another every ten minutes. It's, I guess it's a good way of pacing someone in the game. Hmm. Doesn't look. It does look a bit like a uh, Facebook game in some regards, though. Okay, so deeper questions. It, it actually, as an FAQ goes, this is relatively solid. I'll travel around fallen London. I look at why would I want to? Fair enough. Ooh, that's um, important. Qualities. Fair enough. Ah, so that's so. Hmm. I wonder if that uh, drops over time, or if it's uh, one of those, it drops in game time. Uh, and that'll be all the why, as well my subscription. Oh. 
Wow. Over a million words is cur uh, currently. More than War and Peace, Wall of the Rings, or Ki King James's Bible. Bloody, bloody hell. You can't do it, get it to a. Uh, you can't uh, have any do overs. Doesn't seem to be any way you can actually get killed off. Fair enough. So, sorry, I've gone through the boring stuff now. Let's actually have a look at the game. And, um, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to turn those off. Because I don't want to be updated with by people. Actually, no. Probably invites me to things I'll uh, do. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to escape from prison. I'm going to record that in my journal. Just to try that out. Still a half mile fall into a, a dirigible. Okay, I need some sort of tools to loosen the mortar of my bars. It feels like there should be some background music here. You know what? I'm going to be doing this. Actually, no. Damn, copyright issues. I can't. I was like, I just load up some music and thought, hmm, no, I can't do those ones. Charm people. Wait, what? The rats even have things? So, I could be dangerous, I could be persuasive, I could be watchful. And these are our stats down the side. Intelligence. Dangerous is like ferocity and persuasive. Mm, I'm going to probably go for Watchful and Persuasive. It's how I tend to play. I am the rogue. I'm going to go for Watchful. Onwards we go. Fair enough. Simple enough. Okay, your final struggle, you wrench the bars free, squeezing hastily through the window as the supply dirigible approaches. You pause briefly on the narrow ledge at the side, leap onto the upper surface of the dirigible, and slide alarmingly. Uh, sorry, slide several alarming feet before you get a grip. You are free. I'm going to watch make his hill become dangerous work. Cunning and quick, go shadowy. Escapes the red bones road and s try to be watchful. Oh man. So, let's see. Fog, Assassin's Creed. Um. Backstabbing County Monte Cristo is, and the inevitable Cthulhu Scholar. Which one should we go for? Which one will drive me insane? Oh, you know what? I'm going to go for Persuasive. Okay, so where, we, where do we end up? Every real time week, wounds and ills will decrease, and public remember memory of you will fade. So that does actually make you. Um, see, that it does mean you. It, 
sort of forces you to keep playing in some regards. Not amazingly so. It doesn't um, like really pressure you that much. But if you want to keep your fame up, and because I've kind of gone the persuasive route, I'm going to have to be playing this like once a week at least or something. Okay. Living story. What the heck's a living story? Oh well. No longer a new arrival. So what was the point in having the whole new arrival thing? Ugh. So it went to a layer. Okay, onwards. Actually, okay. Want to become a sensation? <laughs> All right. Don't. Writing commissions. It's all very interesting, to be honest. Well, I'll go for lodgings in a minute, but let's have a look at the opportunity cards. To be honest, I've always been um Wait the Wait the cats can talk? You know let's break it up, we'll get the dog. I do like hat I do prefer cats. It's dreaded. Onwards. Okay. Let's have another look at opportunity. Artistic frenzy. Oh well, I got something from it. So there's lots of there's lots of seems to be lots of stuff that stops you from having other things. So I guess it makes each playthrough kind of unique. Oh man, I'm probably wasting these cards. Frequency infrequent. Okay. I would normally assist the urchin, but nice. What's that? Onwards. So, more cards. Oh, should I go for lodging? Let's keep going it. Locked, locked, locked. Oh well, perhaps not. Doesn't use my card up though, that's very nice. So let's go find somewhere to live. Oh, 
one. Oh, perhaps not. Um, hmm, interesting. What I need for this? Chancy. Well, I guess you kind of just keep going, and because failure just actually makes you level up fast, uh, you know, makes you level up. I don't have booze. Ah. And then you sort of grind. Just chat with the uh, tipsy spy. This is hint. Fair enough. And it, it seems like I don't know. I was expecting an actual proper choose your own adventure, you know, with a lot of story and stuff. It seems to be a lot more it does feel a bit more Facebook gamey. But I'm gonna keep out of this. I'm gonna have a few rounds and see what I make myself. But right uh, right now, thank you for watching. This video has been a little longer as it, than I intended, but I wanted to give a bit of history on fail better games and you know, I'm going to see if we can get a bit of music up here because otherwise it's just going to be me occasionally going, hmm, hmm, reading. Because when I'm reading like stuff like this, especially when it's so much fine te text and so many things, uh, you know, I've got a tendency to get a bit quiet. Also, I'm filming a bit late this evening, so I apologise. I wasn't too chatty in this one. But thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next video.